in this episode of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. Ben says something right. Right? Right? Right out of the gate. Yeah. I say something interesting. This is interesting. And Jules yawns. Okay. <laughs> Are you bored? Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Are we keeping you awake, Jules? Are we boring you, sir? Yes. All this and more when the Bourbon Guild review Mackenzie Bottled and Bond Bourbon. That's really racist, guys. Ben. Ben. Dinglebug. Nerd. Welcome to the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. Dylan. I'm Ben Richards, the Butcher of Bakersfield. Up in this episode, a, a pretty new release here. This is from Mackenzie Bourbon. Um, this is a distilling company called, uh, I think, Finger Lakes Distilling. And this is their bottled in bond weeded bourbon. A lot of interesting stuff going on with this guy. So first of all, it is a weeded bourbon, which mm -hmm. we know is, uh, you know, where they use wheat in the mash bill instead of rye. Um, it's also a bottled in bond, which means that it is 100 proof or 50% alcohol. And it also means that it's aged a minimum of four years. It even says it right on the bottle, aged a minimum of four years. Mm. Now, the mere fact that they took the time to write it on here makes me think it's not aged <laughs> any more than four years. It's mm. Because if it was five or more, I feel like they would just put a good age statement on it. Um, but Mackenzie's pretty interesting. Oh, one other thing real quick. This is also non-chill filtered. They did specify that on the, on the label as well. Um, but Mackenzie is kind of interesting. They've, in the past, released a single barrel, barrel strength version of what I believe is the same mash bill, a weeded mash bill. We've all tried that and found it to be excellent. Love it. Really good stuff. We, we do yeah. want to get a review out of that, but this came out. It's before. a barrel pick, isn't it? It, it usually is. Okay. Uh, it usually is, is, yeah, store picks only, but I do think they have released a general release of it as well. I'm not okay. sure on that. Somebody can call us out on that. But, but this is, appears to be a regular release from them. They're going to get this out there. Um, pretty new. We are able to find it. Close to MSRP, which MSRP is about 42-ish, $43. Um, 40 to 45. 40, yeah, so we picked it up for right around that price. Uh, but there's a lot to be excited about with this. You know, we keep talking about what is going to be that bourbon that's going to be a regular production bourbon that can give the wellers a run for their money. And maybe this is one of them. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and crack this open. Dylan, you got... Something else? Oh, this comes from New York City, right? New York City, yeah. that's right. Get a rope. Yeah, so this is uh, Finger Lakes Distilling. Uh, mash bill is 70 corn, 20 red winter wheat, and 10 malted barley. Uh, aged four plus years, um, 100 proof. Uh, so this is a New York farm distillery. Uh, they uh, specialize in very small batches. Uh, they usually make vodkas and liquors um, mm. in traditional way, soaking real fruits in the spirit. They're really interesting. I mean, they they try not to waste. Yeah. Does they 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 double they do double maturations. They use this and then they make this and then they kind of mature it in another bu uh, barrel, and et cetera, et cetera. And they really do some interesting work. Um, so th that's an important thing to show to, to point out is this is not sourced. No, the, the, this is their they they use their local grains to make all of this, and yeah. it's and it's. Truly a, a kind of a mom and pop kind of operation. Wow. And, you know, full disclosure, I mean, again, I've received the Mackenzie ironic from Dutch again yeah. for, a, for a Christmas gift. <laughs> and because I, I love it. Yeah, because. Because I love it. Yeah, because I love it. Yeah, because I love it so much that I, I love it so much. I... Wow. <laughs> it's a little bit it, it difficult. It battles with you. Yeah, yeah. Because I love the Mackenzie so much, I save mine and I drink Jules' bottle whenever I go to his house. That's true. That's not. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Is the, are those bottle, those uh, store pick bottles of the stuff that we have, uh, mm. is that also... Um, Sourced or is that no, sourced? No, it's their juice. I think it it's also okay. their juice, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And those are usually just for our viewers, if you haven't seen those, they, the bottle does look different. Um, yeah. We'll try to put up an image maybe, but 
Um, they also tend to be in the five to seven year range. I've yeah. seen ones. I have one that's five point five and six point five year. Yeah, yeah. And there's some that are closer to five. There's there's a bunch. I've seen pictures of other ones that are kind of closer to five. Some that are up in the seven year range. And um, we've all tried that one. And I've tried this already. So I, I'm I'm a little biased coming into this. But uh, let's get our scoring criteria. All right. Well, if you're new to the Bourbon Guild, we do have a ten point grading system. We give two points. For its aroma or its nose, three points for the complexity of flavors, two points for how drinkable it is, three points for its uniqueness, and a bonus point for value. So for value, we look at its availability and price point. All right, guys, let's get tasting. Oh, man. Right? Right? Right out of the gate. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, one of these days I'm gonna fall over like a dock <laughs> exactly. from uh, a Back to the Future Three. Hot uh, man can't hold his liquor. Yeah. <laughs> it's some wake up juice. It's a wake up juice. And <laughs> we're gonna have to cut him off at the pass. I can't. I cannot pick up the. You fruit. can't think fourth dimensionally. Oh, I, I got the fruit immediately. Really? Immediately. Oh, I got the sugar. Like crazy. Okay, you guys got your total scores. Yeah. Should I go first? Go ahead. Go for it. I give it an 8. Well, I give it a 6.5. Wow. I give it a 7.5. Whoa. 8.5. What is that? 8.5. 8. All right, so we're kind of, we got a wide range here. 6.5 yeah. yeah. to 8.5. Um, let's kick this off with aroma. I could sit here and nose this thing all day. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, it was very, all I got was this brown sugar. Like, just brown sugar what? through and through. Like amazing, amazing, amazing aroma, but it was all brown sugar. Like I couldn't get anything else. It was a one point five for me. My no, you're on. No, crack. you're wrong because the fact that you said you could you could sit I, there. It's amazing, and knows but I'm not picking thing. anything else out. He's I'm just not picking it. anything else out. Wrong. So no, if you can't pick anything uh, out, you would not be nosing it all day. But the brown sugar smells so good. That's a problem. <laughs> that's all I'm smelling. I got the brown sugar. You know what I got? So why not? So why not? You know it's what I got right, right out of the gate? I got black. Wait, wait, let's get our scores here before we keep. Sorry. Uh, one point five. So same as wait. What, yeah, one point five. Same as you. Uh, you guys had twos. Two. Yeah. Because we're correct. Yeah. Right, well, well, talk to me about it. Let so, me see. What am so I honestly, like, I got a nice fruit flavor, like a nice peach, but um, peach you know, nectar. Yeah, Blackberry. Yeah. You but got it. Slight yes. blueberry. Slight brown sugar. Yeah. Yep. Vanilla. Brown sugar. Yes, it's peach. Vanilla. Yeah. Peach. Definitely vanilla. Yep. Um, the, uh, you know, a little bit of that beautiful oh, yeah. oak. Yep. Yep. Just bit, rounds yeah. it out. Yep. This is, this is, well, that's, that's where I'm missing. I gotta say, I gotta so say. I gotta I'm say. Guys, 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 I just came up to a two. Okay. Wow. Good job. As soon as you said the word peach, it registered in my brain. Yeah. But this is. Everything fell into place. I got you know right Like, all that needs to be said is what you initially started with. You could sit here and nose this all day, because I'm, that's what I've been doing this whole time. It's amazing. Yes, it is really I mean, this should be, we should put this in like, you know, I don't know, a fragrance emitting. This uh, is the, device. This is dictionary like definition <laughs> of uh, uh, complex aroma, like yeah. di like distinct, complex, intriguing aroma. I want to simmer amazing. this. I want to simmer this all day in my house to it? like fill the house it's with this amazing. Aroma. It's a very amazing. It, aroma. It, it is. Well, guys, it is a aroma is only a very small part of our overall <laughs> score. So fine, let's keep going. Yeah. Go. Let's get to complexity. You okay? <laughs> are you bored? Excuse me, sir. I thought, I thought I'm I sorry. Are, are we keeping you awake, in. Jules? <laughs> are um, we boring you, sir? Yes. I got wow. A, step it up. I got a lot of sweetness. I got some 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 spice, but I got a tiny bit of funk, and it left yeah. me at a two. I didn't get a funk, but Just I gave it a two. Tiniest bit. Ben, what'd you have? I gave it a two, but I came so down. Oh, wow. Hey, okay. Unanimity. No, 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 no. We gotta maintain it. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So that's what I was saying. It's like, it was just that the spiciness was a little bit prominent to me. And, Thank and, you. and the slight, slight funk that I got to it. I mean, I wanted to give this higher, but as I kind of went through the flavors in my head, I did, you know, it's a two. It's a two through yeah. and through for me. Yeah. yeah. So, Same here. And, and, okay. and the only thing I would add to that is um, I got bored at the finish, which was weird. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, I mean, and that's my main knock is that seriously, the finish I wish lasted longer, especially with the flavors I was getting. Yeah, the so finish what, is quick. So what killed it for me is the finish yeah. and and the age. So it really, uh, I think, yeah, yeah. if this was age. aged longer, oh, yeah. 
Uh, Could you I imagine think, this is a seven year? Oh, six or seven year would yeah, be amazing. amazing. Would oh. be Weller level. Easier. Better. I think Very. it could be better. The aroma, I think it could be better. The aroma, think would, be better. Just... The aroma would blow yeah. it away. So I think it just blows the the uh, Weller away. I, I agree. So yeah. I got to tell you, I came down to a 2.0 from a 2.5, and the reason is there's a lot I'm getting from that wonderful complex aroma. The spice is kind of washing. Like, it's stepping on stuff. Yeah. It's there, but it's stepping on yeah. stuff, and, and I can't. I want, I want, I've, I've, I've added some water. I'm aerating I mean, I, it. But I think this would get better over time as it mellows. Yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. But I, I do think I'm happy that it's it. it. It doesn't. It doesn't taste like a, a like a strict four year. I do think it's a, aged a little bit longer than that. But I do think that the eight and beyond will definitely bring out. I mean, even the, at a, even at so, a seven, could you imagine? That's almost twice. Yeah. I mean, like this is. But I think I think the twelve peak with this type of flavor profile yeah. would. It, it would be home run. Well, they're a new distillery, so we'll see so what comes from. I have to It'd ask. It'd be a home run. I want to segue into drinkability, but by doing that, I want to ask, what flavors were you guys getting out of the 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 drinking that you found in the aroma? Because right now, like the Mackenzie uh, barrel pick uh, that we've had, that weeder, the barrel proof, one of the things I really got from that was a dark chocolate. And I'm getting a dark chocolate and almost like a blackberry from this. I got blackberry and, and, and I, cherry. And, 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 and I gave it a two on drinkability because I could sit here and sip this and probably take something. Yeah, like a, like a, like a dark cherry or almost like cherry cordial. And I'm getting some. I'm getting something cherry new cordial. every time I take away from this. Like I could drink this all day long. See, I'm getting a lot of like cinnamon almost. Mm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, on, the, on the finish. On the, okay. on the finish. And I get the, the spice the, on the finish. And the spice is more... When I first taste it, and that kind of has washed out the fruit on the palate for me, hmm. and and actually, really? so as the segue into drinkability, like that spice level is what kept me at a one point five. Because I, I find this, I want to keep drinking it because I want to tease out more yeah. flavors. Yeah, and it's not off putting. It's pretty. It, it does drink like a hundred proof. Yeah. So it, definitely, you can taste the alcohol. There is a bit of a burn. There's a lot of spice. So it's definitely not a two for me. But it's a. It's a. Maybe a little bit weak, one point five. So I'm not coming down from my two, but you know where I would give it a two on drinkability. I did give it a two. Wow, I like, wow. It. Wow. I like okay. it. I think this is good. I think I, it's I gave it a one, a super strong one. Yeah, I almost oh, okay. went it up to one point five. I had I had exactly the same yeah. kind of reservation because I thought it was it's a spicy. weak. It would be a weak one point five. It is a weak one point five. But the yeah. but the problem I think the problem where it suffered. Was that I love the flavors, but the See, finish was lacking. Here's the thing: is, I, is, is, the is, I would totally, I, I would totally pour another glass of this. Yeah, I would but, totally pour another I mean, glass. I, so, yeah, I mean, I would too. Yeah, I but, would. I mean, at, in the middle of the road, it's not like you know I'm going to deny a pour, but I mean, it's just it's it, it it just it feels like it's getting boring. And I'm I don't not know, bored by this at I, all. I, I can't. I you know what it is? You know what it is? I the can't, finish was so underwhelming. Like, I feel bad for giving the one. I, I really think that I, I, I feel bad about the one. Because, I think you should come up to one. Yeah, I, I mean, I, because the mm. it's the age that's killing I mean, here. One two is still it's not the bad. age that's that's so really I mean, making it difficult for yeah. me. And I and I would be easy. I mean, I would easily go up to one point five. Uh, let, let, let me hear it. Let's let's see if let's see if he is Hey, convince me to go up. So I'm sticking with my two. The only reason I would, I, I know this probably isn't the what you want to hear, but the only reason I would consider docking it to a 1.5 is this takes work. This takes mental effort to drink because you're, you, it's, it's right, not but, you're but, sitting but, but, and enjoying it. Like, you're sitting no, no, like, no, no, oh, that's a flavor. Oh, that's a flavor. Like, but here's the thing. It's, it's like, engaging. It's intriguing. It's and engaging. You want, to, you want yes. to put the work in and that's yes. why it's a 1.5 but, rating, not a 1. But like, th so that's why I would yeah. say come up. There's something intriguing in this in every yeah. sip. There really is. But it's work. It's not a, hey, I'm going to pour something after work because I just want to zone out and have a glass of bourbon. There's something where I'm going to put some thought in. And I know that's like kind of like, okay, what are you, an intellectual snob? Like, no, this is an engaging bourbon. There's some thought into like, hey, man, what's that flavor? Oh, there's something new. I'm getting dark chocolate, vanilla, sugar cookie. Well, and I think the fact that it takes work, may, that's why my complexity yeah. was a 2 and no, not a so, 2.5. But the drinkability, like, it, it is intriguing it, enough It, it, that it I is a back. super strong one. And, mm -hmm. and, and the problem eh, is this. I don't think when I, when I first one. take that sip. I get this overwhelming, amazing, complex flavor, yeah, and then and then what happens yeah. is that it the harshness off. starts to come in. Yeah. The young yeah. 
flavor uh, so I got comes a little, in, yeah. and then the finish is not yeah, as great. I got a, yeah, that's where and it, so yeah. that's where I knocked it off, and yeah, I and I, I I think I could I could be easily talked up to one point five. Ben's argument is not enough. But, See, no, I, you're close. I get it with you with what you're saying, but at the same time. I want to keep like what what I get initially and on the hit. Yeah, okay, the finish, it, it is starting to drop off. But when everything up to that point is so engaging, I'm just so shocked delicious. that you're giving this a perfect. I, I'm a I think it's perfect. I think it's I mean, very good. I, I, and for the proof and, for, and the for, flavor, but it's, is it perfect for a four like four plus like year hundred proof? So proof. if I came down to one point five, would you come up to a one point five? Bargaining on your. Shoulder. I don't want to bargain, but I know, I get you. I know you know you, what you, you know what. A very good point. You know what? I I see your point and I acknowledge right. it. Like it, I, I understand. I think I think that's reasonable. Want... <laughs> I think that's re if you bring it down to one point five, you would I'll it bring out. it up to one point five. <laughs> that's fair because I agree with you on the. Finish. All right, all right. I agree with you all on right. the finish. Change. 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 But right. what's so engaging about this is that it is bringing because I so think many I think flavors. you acknowledge that this is not perfect. It's a four it's year. A it requires more years. But I think it's you know 1.5. I think 1.5 for a technical execution is great. That 0. 0.5 is missing is it's not it's not something that is absolutely without. With, it, it's it not is, perfect. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not, it's perfect. not unquestionable. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's right. keep going. Right. We spent a long time. Very good. Very good. Yes. Let's get to your uniqueness. And I sat at a two for a long time, but then I started thinking, okay, bottled and bond, weeded bourbon, mm -hmm. and that. Plus the bottle. I mean, I, I do kind of like the bottle. And it's its own distillery. It's not sourced. Yep. This isn't coming from any other big name distillery. Yep. That was enough to bump me up to a 2.5. Yep. Wow. The story. The story. Original juice. Original bottled juice. and bond. We Non-chill filter. Non yeah. There's a lot. And the fact going, that the I'm, flavors. That nose. I have, yeah. This the is aroma. one of the best aromas I've ever had yep. on a bourbon. That's this taste that's unique. This and the other Mackenzie bottle that we, we've been drinking from the the barrel proof. There's not the, there are not many other bourbons on the market that have that flavor profile. Yeah. And mm -hmm. and I'm getting like dark chocolate berry, like a lot of different things. And this has notes of that yeah. of that bottle, and that that shows consistency yeah. in my I, mind. I, I so and also no weed or funk. No weed or no funk. Weed so, or funk. I, I so replay what he just it. said. How the barrel pick was so unique, I would give that a higher score. That's why I gave it a two. I think I would give that a higher score than this. I think they're both good, but I really, really love that six That's year fair. barrel pick. That's fair. Okay. And that is the reason why this is a two. Okay. Hmm. Jules, what'd you give it? I'm actually thinking of going up. What, uh, I gave it a 1.5. So I give it middle of the road. And a lot of it is. <clears throat> That's harsh. I don't know. A lot of it, yeah, but I mean, a lot of it is that it, the flavors weren't unique enough. No, but I mean, you've no. had the a lot of wheat. Great. The story's You've great. had a lot of wheat right. that had the funk. Yeah, yeah this does not true. have the that's funk. True. Guys, remember, remember that's the true. last weeder that we had from a not one of the big distilleries it was uh, Smooth Ambler's Smooth. Big Level. Yeah. This yeah. this, is, this Fair blows point. that away. Yeah. And, All right. Yeah. I'm I, going up. I'm going up. I think uh, there's right. a lot of, I think there's a lot of neat unique things. 2.0. Oh, good job. Good job. All right, guys. Let's get to our final category, our bonus category for value. This, you know, we take into account price and availability. 0. 0.5. 0. It's 0.5. It's out there. We got a bottle of it pretty much 0. right 5. off the bat. Yeah. It's not overpriced, I don't think. Not, no, no, no. 40, 40 bucks, forty five okay, bucks. That's right in the right in the wheelhouse of like Makers forty six for a hundred proof. For a hundred proof. Yeah. Yeah. For mod, this type proof. of hundred proof. Mod. The the uh, amazing fragrance. Non no weed or frunk. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means, but uh, but wait, wait, what are we trying to convince Ben of? Where'd no, you get other it, than we know you get it. I gave it a score. zero. I gave oh, it a zero. What? what? Really? Here's why. No value? You're, you're, you're basically equating this to the Dude, black and gold. 43. 40, 40 Here's <laughs> why. I haven't seen it on any it shelf. It just came out. Okay. It's out there. I've seen it. it I haven't there. seen it, it on any shelf, and I don't know if Google it's being search. marked up or not. It's not. You're a Google it's search. It's out there, and it's not being marked up. Yeah. I've seen it, and that, that, you know, you know what my, you know me. what my lawyer buddies say. What? Ignorance is not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> if you if, if you go up to a judge, but Ben, you're basically just throwing that out there because you don't know. I don't. You're right. I don't. I'm so you should pulling. listen to those of us that do know and give it. Whoa, a whoa. 
That's it. No. <laughs> I'm not, we're not being unreasonable here. When we come back six months from now and this is marked up to hell and unavailable, I will yell at you. Okay. But All for right. now, I will defer <laughs> to the judgment of the majority of okay. the guild. So and unanimity. 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 All right. The bourbon court. Yes. All right, guys. This was an interesting review. This was great. I was totally surprised. Yeah. I did not expect this. This is interesting. And, you know, I kind of see it as more good things to come, hopefully, from Mackenzie. I mean, yeah. this, totally, this one really sure. impressed me. Totally. All right, Ben. Total score? 8.5. Didn't you just come up? Oh, because you dropped something else. Yeah. 8.0. Yeah. 8.0. Jules? 7.0. And I ended up at an 8.5 as well. Wow, you came up. I did. All right. So, the official Bourbon Guild score for Mackenzie Bottled in Bond, a very, very good 8. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Dude, that, that is, is really solid. Good. Right on the money. Solid. You know, I, yeah, think, I think solid. anytime we taste a weeded bourbon and we don't get that weeder frunk, I think we're immediately predisposed to you know, high marks. <laughs> yeah, I, I do yeah. think so. I, I think the... I, I'm just hey, impressed by uh, my own look, look, look. I'm really Frunk. impressed by that. Trademark. <laughs> no, but you, you have a point because we've tasted a lot of distilleries that are up and coming and it's their own juice to your credit yeah. it's the, your own juice yeah, your you're, juice. you're trying Amazing something new yeah. yeah but man there's you know there's style yeah. recipe there's a lot of factors at work but I think and what these guys are doing is it's an working. interesting thing too because i think that i think weeders turn a corner at a certain point yeah yeah, yeah. and i think it's right around so, here it's so, four years yeah. but i think i mean just give us like two more yeah, years a yeah little more two more years so, and we'd be oh my God. so the so the wheat yeah. wheat has that wheat funk the weeder funk yeah. um the rye, rye has that rye Pepper, weird spiciness, medicinal, medicinal but then spice, that, turn, that turns into sweetness, into yeah. sweetness mm -hmm. after a certain yeah, age. Yeah. I mean, it's really fascinating, yeah, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is a this solid. That's very good. All right, Jules, take us out. Hey, tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this episode. Hit that subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, our website. Tip your bartenders. Remember, always try something new when you go to the whiskey bar. Bourbon Guild, out. Frunk. 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 We, we want the frunk. frunk. Weeder funk. We, Weeder, Weeder funk. has that funk. <laughs>